Hello, this is Leila from Radakat. Uh, in this short video, I'm going to show you how you can sort columns inside Power Query uh, with uh, writing some simple functions in M. So as you can see here, I have a data base about customer information. So as you can see, it's uh, data about customer. The uh, columns are not sorted at all. I have about, if you look at here, I have about 30 columns. So when you do the data transformation, there is always a challenge that uh, you want to see the columns in the order. It's, it's mostly important when you work with a, a kind of data set that has more than 10 columns or 12 columns that actually not fit in the preview here and you want to actually sort them based on that uh, so i just going to show you a simple tricks how to uh, uh, kind of title that so uh, here i'm going to my advanced editor to see my power query so as you know that in m uh, all of the steps that we done from getting a data storing a variable and the variable pass to the next steps and so same as that so i'm going to actually to add another steps over here so after the change type that is happen here i'm going to uh, put a common at the end of the line and i'm going to start to write so i call a variable change order or actually what you like so here i'm going to actually to use some of the functions that have there so let's see that how we can actually do that so i'm going to use a function name uh, order reorder table dot reorder so i'm going to use that function I call it table dot uh, reorder column so as you can see if i open the brackets you can see that this uh, function gets the table and then the order so first of all i need to pass my table so the table is obvious uh, so i'm using the previous steps that is change type because it's actually holds my table so i put it over here and then in the next step, I need to provide the column order as a list. So uh, when you're doing the or reorder as a list, what is happening actually, it's going to uh, kind of list the name of the column. So I don't want to list it here. So I need to use two functions together. First, I need to use the function to find the column names and then another functions I'm going to use to actually sort that one and then put it here. So I'm going to use two function at the same time. So first of all, I'm using the function list. So as you can see, it says column order should be as a list. So I need to use the function list uh, dot sort. So that means that is going to sort the list for me. And in the second step, uh, so I need to pass a list to this function also. To do that, I'm going to use the another function that I have and help me to fetch the uh, kind of the information about the as a column name. So the one that I'm going to use is table dot column name so as you can see this function table as column name actually written a list of the name so that's really good because here uh, the list column the this function actually require the list and table dot function actually return a list over here and also here on the table reorder we also need a list that is sorted so i think so it's good so now i just need to provide the input as a table over here that is here and of course i need to change the uh, step to shows in the output over here so let's see and how it's look 
So as you can see, it's actually order my stuff. So now imagine that sometimes I'm duplicate something and it's going to put it at the end of the list. So it's because my 31 column, but normally I want to see everything over there. So I'm easily able to reorder the steps of the change order. So this is not something that relevant to the previous step in your applied step. Whenever you want to use it, you can use that function and it's going to uh, actually reorder that one if you're using a lot of these function so i recommend to actually create a, a function of that that actually help to uh, kind of create that one so to do that i'm going to uh, create a blank query and on here i'm going to use it as a so as the source should be actually i'm going to use it as a so i'm going to define a table name as table and is going to return a table and here i'm going to actually uh, start to write so uh, here i can set uh, uh, actually my i'm going to use the table dot the same function that we have reorder columns and this function is actually needs the source data the source data was table name and the list now here i'm actually able to pass the uh, to use the function so here i'm going to use the list dot sort and then this one is actually is going to be table dot uh, column names from table name definitely you can make it a bit uh, kind of more much more uh, kind of variableized so you can actually first get each of them and pass it so it's become much more readable but because it's a very simple one i didn't do that so here is actually it's become a function i pass a function like uh, for example a uh, dim customer over here and it's going to if i look at that it's going to kind of reorder that one for me or for example i can choose other functions if i have here i'm not sure how many function i have dim customer uh, you can actually so for example if i bring another table over here for example so I bring the in product and now if I sort the in product is actually I can see that it's kind of going to uh, uh, kind of going to sort it based on that this is a very simple function is if you have this is a scenarios when you have lots of functions and you really want to sort them so you can use this approach thanks so much for watching this video